All right, guys, so we're going to do a, a quick video today. It's probably going to be part one. Uh, and then this is going to serve as the introduction. I'm going to show you guys how I used uh, or how I did the basic mechanics of uh, the rig. So the rig is made up of two curves and about sets, uh, four sets of bones. Okay. So uh, let's quickly get into it because I want to make this as short as possible. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start by adding two curves, right? So you're going to add a curve first, right? Go into top mode and then clear the transformations. Alt G, okay? So what you, what you want to do next is uh, you basically want to go into edit mode and then scale all these handles. Select all the handles and press S and then Y and then zero, right? To scale them on the Y axis, and then press enter, obviously, so that we can have a straight line like this, okay? So now this handle is a bit big. I'm gonna scale that to half. There we go. So now go out of edit mode into object mode. Now we have one curve, right? So what we're gonna do is duplicate the same curve, right? So now select one curve and then uh, name it DEF, right? Select the other curve and name it IK. There we go. Okay, so now we have two curves, but the problem is we can't see them, right? So what we need to do is improve visibility. And by doing that is, uh, let's go to the curve properties and then go to geometry tab and then bevel and then increase the depth by about uh, 0 0.2. Okay, that's the IK curve. So what we need to do now next is that we need to select the depth curve and then uh, increase that by a 0 0.3. Okay, that sounds good. So now we have one, two curves, right? <clears throat> and we can see them. So what we're going to do is select the depth curve, right, and add a material to it. Let's add a red material. Uh, let's go to the viewport display. Click the color, add red, okay? Now we have about two curves, one is red and one is white. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to add the bones. Oh wait, but before we do that, right? Before we do that is let's select the deformation curve, right? Go to edit mode and then subdivide this uh, two times. Select all the handles, right? And then press W to bring up this menu and then click subdivide, then do it again subdivide okay so now we have about one two three four five all right five handles okay let's fix the scale on this one fix the scale on that one there we go okay so now that our deformation curve has about five handles click your i key curve go to edit mode this one has about two handles okay now let's add the bones right so uh, add armature, single bone, clear transformations, set them to zero. Okay. Go to the front mode and then go into edit mode on this bone, right? And then press R, select the top handle, press R, and then enter 90 to rotate it by 90 degrees. There we go. Enter. So what we need to do now is we need to snap this end to the ends of these handles over here. Okay, so what we need to do is select the bone. Oh no, select the curves, right? Select the last handle. Then uh, use a shortcut key, Shift S. Uh, this snap menu will come up and then select cursor to select it. That will move the cursor to that position over there. Okay, now let's go back to our bone. Select the bone. I'm going to edit mode and then grab that over there, and then press SH, I mean Shift S again, and then uh, this time select Selection to Cursor, right? That would move that and snap it to that same position over there. Okay, so now you get the idea of snapping, okay? So whenever I mention snapping, this is how you should do it, okay? All right, so now what we need to do is we need to go into Edit Mode again, and then select the same bone that we just snapped, and then uh, duplicate it, and then send the duplicate to uh, layer number one. Okay, no, sorry, layer number two. Okay, 
So now, if you go to your bone layers, you have two layer, two layers with bones. You have layer number one and layer number two. Okay. So select layer number one, and then subdivide this. Right. Use the same command. Press W. Right. Brings up this menu. Click subdivide. Do it again. There we go. So now we have divided it into four. Let's do the same thing to our second bone on the second layer. There you go. All right, now we're done. Okay, so let's go back to uh, layer number one, okay? All right, before we do that, actually, let's go to layer number two and select all the bones, right? All the bones like that. All the bones like that. And then uh, extrude a new set of bones, okay? So press E and then Z so that we can extrude them on the Z axis like that, okay? There we have. Now we have one, two, three, four. We need a fifth one. So let's go to the end. Select this bone over here. Press E and then Z again. Extrude another bone. Okay. So now we have uh, all the bones. Yeah, we have five sets of bones. We have uh, five bones, actually. Okay. So now these bones, the problem is they are connected to our IK chain, right? To our chain over here. Right. So what we need to do is uh, I actually haven't uh, select the last bone and parent it to that bone over there, and then these bones are still connected. Right. We need to uh, deconnect them. So go to bone properties, uh, go to relations, and deselect connected for each and every one of these bones. There we go. There you go. Uh, okay, so now these bones are not connected, okay? They are not connected to this bone, this set of bones right here, okay? So what we need to do <clears throat> is uh, select these uh, newly extruded bones and then move these bones to layer number three, okay? There we go. So now we have about three layers of bones. So now on the first layer, we have these set of bones. Th these set of bones, we're going to call them the deformation bones, okay? So, and then the second layer has about the IK bones. We're going to call these bones IK. And then the third layer, these are control bones, okay? Now, before we go to layer number one, we need another set of bones. And this set of bones is uh, the main control bones, so select the first bone and the last bone, right? And then duplicate these bones and then send them to the fourth layer, right? There we go. Go to the fourth layer. And then when you get there, select the heads of these bones. Press G and then Z. And then drag them along the Z axis. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we have four sets of bones. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to, um, first of all, these bones, right? These uh, two bones over here, unparent them. Okay. Go to bone properties and then delete the parents from both these bones. Okay. There we go. No parents, no parents. All right. So now we need to name our bones. Okay. So go back to uh, layer number one. And select the first bone, either this one or that one. Okay. And then go to the bone properties and then rename the bones D, the first bone DEF. Okay. Then copy select that DEF with your mouse. Control C, hover your mouse over here. And then <clears throat> click the next bone, then paste that. Click third bone and paste that also. Uh, last bone and paste that also. Okay, so now all our bones have a DEF as their name, right? Do the same thing for the IK, which is on the second layer. Go to the second layer, click the first bone or the last bone. And then what you need to do is do the same, uh, go to the bone properties and then rename them IK. Right, give them a IK name. So we got I K 
Okay, okay, there we go. Same thing, just keep pasting the names. All right, there we go. Now let's go to our third layer, third bone layer, and let's go and name these control. These bones, CRT. I got CRT, there we go. Control, and then select that one, click, 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 click. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay, so now, now let's go to our fourth layer and rename these bones, right? Go to bone layers, bone properties, then name these CRT2, right? But CRT main, CRT M-A-I-N, okay? All right, then copy that and name the same thing to the other bone. Okay, so now we have two bones that are that have a CRT main on them. All right, now that we're done naming them, now let's hook everything up to the curves. <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to do is go to layer number one, right? Now we have to go into pose mode, right? There we go. <clears throat> Click, uh, this one makes, uh, yeah, and you have to do this, follow this exactly as I'm doing it, okay? So you have to select the first bone, uh, okay, by the first I mean this bone. Okay, don't, that's not the first bone. Select this bone. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is you want to go to uh, bone constraints and add a spline IK, okay, constraint. This is the DEF bones, the DEF bones, so we're going to select a DEF curve. There we go. It's a little weird now, but what we need to do now is we need to change the chain length to four. There we go. <clears throat> now go back to your bone layers and then go to the second layer and then select uh, the first bone again, right? And then add another constraint. There we go. But this time the target is IK. There we go. Same thing again. Go to chain length and add four again. There we go. All right, so now that we have this set up, what we need to do now is uh, set up the hook system, okay? What's left now is just to use hooks, basically cleverly using hooks. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to our layers and go to layer one, right? In layer one, you're gonna click, uh, click layer one, right? And shift select uh, layer three there we go so now we have these control bones the crt bones right perfectly aligned to these joints the connections basically to the joints where they connect <clears throat> this is going to make sense in about uh a minute so now if you remember correctly in the first time i told you to uh to divide the deformation curve let's go to the deformation curve right the deformation curve has, um, okay, let's hide the IK curve for now. Let's go to the deformation curve. It has what? Five divisions. If you go into edit mode, it has about one, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, three, four, five. So these are gonna be hooked to what? To these bones, okay? They're going to be hooked to these bones, basically. They're going to be hooked to these bones over here. All right? So what you need to do is... Uh, okay, so let's go to the first bone. Okay, what you need to do is select the first bone, right? This one over here, the first control bone. Uh, this one over here. So what we need to do is select it, and then what you do is go into object mode, and then before you do anything else, shift select the curve. Okay, the deformation curve. After you do that, go to edit mode, right? <clears throat> and then find uh, the, the handle that's uh, nearer to this guy over here. So is it aligned? Yes, it's aligned. Okay, so before we do anything, maybe we need to check if they're all aligned, actually. Oh, they're not all aligned. That's very important, actually. They all have to be aligned to these uh, little guys over here. <clears throat> so let's do that, let's align them. So how we align them is we can snap them to the position, right? 
select the bone you want to align it to. In this case, our second bone here. What we're going to do is select that bone. Uh, or maybe select the joint over here, right? And then shift cursor to selected. Shift S cursor to selected. And then what you do next is you then go into the curves. And then go to the handle we want to move. And then shift S again. And then keep offset. This time... This time you need to select selection to cursor keep offset. Okay, there we go. Uh, now let's so let's check this one. Is this one aligned? Yeah, it's aligned. Okay, okay. So that means let's move on to this one. This one is not aligned. As you can see, it's not aligned. All right, so let's align it. Do the same thing. All right, so all our handles, our points on the curve are aligned to the bone positions. Okay, so now let's go ahead and hook them up. Okay, so now to hook them up, just basically go to uh, select the, the bones, go to edit mode, right? So click select the bone we want to use, and then uh, go to object mode again, and then shift select the curve, and then go to edit mode again. And then now we need to press uh, Control H, right? And that brings up the hooks menu. And it says go to the last option, the third option, which says hook to selected object bone. There we go. Uh, now let's do the same thing for every single one of these points, okay? So first go to the bones. Select the bones, right? Very careful. Then object mode, shift select the curve, then go to edit mode, select the handle we want, and then control H. And then click hook to selected object bone. All right, so let's do the same thing again and again. Okay, here we go. Again. All right, so now if you go into pose, once you're done, just click the bones and go to pose mode. And then what you do is if you move these bones, <clears throat> you're going to be deforming the curve and that curve is going to be deforming these bones, okay? So these bones are control curves, right? That are on the third layer, right? Let's go to the third layer. So the third layer is control bones that can that are deforming the curve, right? Like that, there you go. They deform the curve. And in turn, what happens is that you are deforming, let's go to layer one, you are deforming this guy over here, right? These set of bones, because these bones are being deformed by the curve, okay? All right, so select layer one, and then shift select layer three. See how the whole thing works. This is how it's working, okay? But here's the beauty of it, right? These these control bones can actually move by themselves. All right. All right. Let's bring everything back. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, can move uh, the IK, right? So shift, so select layer number two, right? This is the IK. And shift select... Uh, layer number, which one is it? Or rather, you know what? Just go to fourth layer, this one, right? Go to the fourth layer. And then once you get there, uh, do the same thing, but this time do it to the IK curve. Okay, so now what we need to do first is that we need to hide the deformation curve, this red one, and then unhide the IK curve. Okay, I'm using the outliner to do this. So you guys should uh, make use of the outline. It's very useful. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. Let's hook it up. Okay, so select the uh, the bones. Shift select the curve. And then find, select the handle you want. And then control H again. All right, there we go. Do that for the other bone. There we go. 
So now what we have is we have select the bones and go to pose mode and test this again. So now we have this. And this time we're moving the white curve, right? The IK curve, right? So you're probably wondering, okay, but how does this all work? So what you need to do now is uh, you're on layer number four right now. So what you need to do is shift select layer number two for you to see the effect, okay? So what we have now is that if we move these control bones, we are influencing the curve that's moving, the IK curve that's moving the IK bones, which is kind of cool, right? Right, so now by look at this now. If we shift select layer number one, what we have is, oh no, that, that's actually not, impressive shift select layer number one all the layers okay to show them all so now we have all the bones we can see all of them right so what we have now is that if we move the main controls we're also moving what the entire bone system okay the entire bone system is moved by the ik system right so what we have is this guy who's moving the ik and the IK are moving these bones, right? The IK are moving these bones, which in turn are moving another bone. Needless to say, I like hooks. Yeah, very, very, very good. Okay, let's unhide the deformation curve. Let's go there. There we go, the red one. Okay, I forgot to... Delete the scale, okay. All right, so I've noticed something, right? I don't want these bones scaling like this, okay? These control bones. So we can remedy that by going to the bone properties, right? And then clicking these control bones and then just uh, removing, uh, go to relations, inherit scale, and then click none, okay? And do that for all the bones. Not all the bones, just the control bones. None. None. Okay, so now even if you scale, they don't scale. Okay. All right, so yeah. So this is the basic mechanic, right? The basic mechanic is to have... One system moving another system, which moves another system, which moves another system. So then you have something like this. So now I'm gonna, sh on the second video, I'm gonna show you guys how I got from here. Okay, on the next video, I'm gonna show you how I got from there to here, right? Where you have, it's like they're sliding on top of, of one another. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this, right? That's on the second video right all right i hope this was short i hope this was less than 30 minutes all right guys i'll see you on the next video all right